So today has been quite an interesting day if you are a Microtik fan person. And the reason I'm saying that is because you might not even be aware, Microtik has updated or upgraded their forums. It is definitely something a lot different than what a lot of people are used to. They used to run, what's it, PHP BB, which has been around since yesteryear, since early internet. <laughs> like most forum boards were built off of this PHP BB stuff. And I guess it seemed like it probably became a bit dated and it was a bit harder to maybe incorporate some newer features, maybe stuff like their new uh, LLM or their AI bot that they've been introducing and adding the documentation to the old forums. Maybe it's difficult. I'm not sure what their reasons is. I'm sure Marketic will announce it themselves. But I kind of just wanted to do this little newsletter almost, kind of just spoiling it for those that's not aware that Marketic's forums have gone through some type of upgrade. So let's actually just look at the forums and chat about it. And this is it. You can see this. I actually thought the Microtech forums were hacked when, <laughs> when I logged on the first time because I was just on there yesterday trying to see if they've made any updates on eVPN. And I didn't even see that there was an announcement to say that they were upgrading it. Apparently something did go out on Friday on the message board. I completely missed it. I've been using it as I would normally do. And then earlier today, I just kind of realized, hey, this is stopped being reachable and that it just completely changed. So I was like, hey, did somebody hack Microtech's website? Didn't they pay their registrar money? Is stuff being sent somewhere else that's not supposed to? But no, this is their actual community now. This is where they want to have all of the threads. They've actually migrated all of the old threads into this, which is actually quite nice. But you can see it, it doesn't look like the old forum. The old forum, you had all of these miniature categories. And I just want you to think of this as all being collapsed into this router S category now. So if we go in here, you can see there's something new called subcategories. And this is where all of the original different categories were your general, your beginner basics. So you can see there's definitely all of the, well, I, I shouldn't say all of it because I'm not 100% sure if everything was migrated, but definitely a good chunk of everything has been moved across. So you're definitely not losing any of those awesome threads that you might have been participating in before. This thing is just adding additional functionality or easier ways to track conversations, so to speak, because like I said, this is kind of a lot like Slack or Teams stuff or even those futuristic forums that I was mentioning earlier from some game developers. So if you just go into a category, let's go into the announcements because this is where I've been most of the day and we look at something like their migration process from our old PHP BB instance to discourse is now done. So we can read through this here. You can see you can bookmark it, flag it, reply to it, pin stuff, track stuff. It's, it's really kind of easy to do. But here you see there's that whole kind of timeline thing that you can just scroll through and kind of find the section of the discussion that you maybe want to participate in and if you you can do like sub replies to somebody so maybe you like somebody's comment or maybe you just want to reply to them directly it, it's kind of one of those things it, it just looks a bit more modern i guess but it also I, i've seen people also not be very happy about it and i can also kind of understand that point because there's a few reasons why a lot of forum veterans hang out. <laughs> they, they're very, I don't want to say they, they guard their treasure or something like that, but I've seen a lot of people spend maybe the last two decades on the forums and people are usually creatures of habit. So if you change something like this quite drastically, you might find that some people will either stop engaging or they might not like the new forums and they, they might even start attacking it, which I think is silly to do. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing that. I think this is a pretty good change for Microtik. It's got a bunch of other nifty little features. Like you can see, you've even got light, dark mode, auto, all that stuff. But it just kind of integrates nicely with modern Microtik, I should say. One thing that I would have really have liked Microtik to do is when they did announce this on Friday, I believe, which was just in an announcement post somewhere, I really think that they should have at least either, maybe it sounds a bit spammy, but either emailed all of the active users on the marketing forums and just explain to them, 
all right, you guys, we are doing this upgrade. This is what's going to happen. And one of the big, big issues is that existing user passwords is lost. So your user account has been moved across, but they didn't bring the password over. So if you try and log in with your details, it doesn't work and you need to reset your password before you can log in. But the moment you do that, you log in, you get your own little profile. And here you can see there's even little achievements almost make the forum like a game. I, I, don't know. I don't really care for stuff like this, but I, I, I'm sure some people might appreciate it. But for me, as long as there is a general place where the community themselves can also discuss, I've seen people do it on Discord as well, but this course now, which is their new forum, I should say, this should be the place where people can openly and freely discuss ideas and maybe share some configuration ideas on how they might build a solution, which they've always done on the Microtech forums. And I can't see that going away. This will still be here. There you can see there's still all of the same people. I already know that person <laughs> enough. Um, great guy. I've, I've spoken to him a few times, but he's he's like really, really online on the forums a lot. I've I've seen him respond to almost each and every. I shouldn't say every post, but I, I've seen enough uh, beyond most of the threads. And you can see that the account was just brought over. And there's a few more. There's like this ammo person. So everything is still here. You don't need to stress about any of your old stuff that's gone away. I think this is just going to be a bit of a teething process where we just need to get used to the new forums. But I thought it was interesting enough to maybe just bring it to your attention because maybe you missed it. Maybe you don't know what's happened with the Microtech forums. It's just like a little, because I didn't, I didn't know what happened to it. So I just figured, hey, I'll let you guys know. Microtech has changed their forums. There was a brief period of it being problematic. I should say like there was an outage where you couldn't reach the forum. We kept seeing stuff like error 500, error 502 or error 503, where it would either just not load or it would load stuff incorrectly. So that is also worth noting, but it seems to have evened out throughout the course of the day. And now it seems pretty stable. So Let's see what the future brings. I'm curious to see what else Microtech will be doing. Maybe they'll also be making a few more changes to even their documentation. Maybe we'll see um, that little LLM bot of theirs jump up and start talking to you through the, the messaging here. I'm not sure <laughs> exactly what's going to happen, but it's it's definitely interesting to see that this is the one big change that Microtech wanted to make. And it kind of just happened over the weekend without me even knowing. So really interesting. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, like it, please let me know what you guys think about it. Do you like the new forum? Do you dislike it? What are your thoughts on this course? I've only read up about it today and it seems fine, but uh, I've also seen people not be too happy with it. So let's have a chat. See ya.